and I'm not going into outer space. I'm not going to a music festival. I am in fact, as you can see, at a dairy farm right in the middle of Ningxia. Ningxia in China. Here they have 10,000 cows and their job here is to make milk to feed the Chinese people. The reason they have the dairy farm here is because it's very close to the Yellow River and the climate is very dry so it means the grass that the cows eat is very high quality. So I'm going to go and have a look and see some of the process. Let's go, yeah? They're all eating some grass at the moment. Hello. Can I touch it? Okay, man. So uh, here with me is uh, Liu Xianzheng, Mr. Liu. Uh, he works here at this farm. Ni hao. So um, tell me about what the cows have on their ears. Uh 通过这样来帮我们监测牛的健康状况。That's amazing. So each cow has its own number, and as Mr. Liu was showing, they have lots of information stored about each cow on this app on the phone. For example, their birthday, how much exercise they've been doing, what they've been eating, and all of that is very important because it contributes to the quality of the milk. It's amazing. Is it shower time? I think they're all having a bit of a wash. Some uh, water coming out. And I just saw one cow have a very big poo. about the, the quality of the, the feed, the grass that the cows eat. They take a lot of work into making sure that the grass the cows eat is really good quality. And one thing you also notice is that the cows have an awful lot of space. Uh, in the UK we call this free range. It means that the, the cows, they're not trapped, they're free to move around. And the idea there is that the happier the cow is, the better dairy they're going to produce. So actually this cow shed is pretty special. You can see they're all having a bit of a sit down. They sit down on the grass because it's comfortable. They have a lot of space. There's a shower that comes on every seven minutes, so they're regularly washed. And two really funny things. Um, in the cow shed, there's a special machine that massages the cows. And also, sometimes they will listen to some music. And all of this goes towards making the cow feel more happy. The happier the cow, the better the milk. So uh, this guy here is gonna show us the grass. Uh, That's very special, right? Sorry, go on. 
，我们的食材料很安全，非常的。里面包含的这个鸦片、玉米，可以人吃的，没问题。经过这个安全检测。So he's saying that there's corn in the grass and you can eat it. Yeah, 好吃吗？好吃。It's pretty tasty, apparently. Uh, can I try it? 我可以尝一下吗？可以，可以，可以。This is just the corn, right? Did you see you mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I haven't had my lunch, so this is good, actually. A bit like a crisp. Okay, so now we're outside, and you can see we're in the area for the the baby cows or the calves, and that you can see they all have their own little hut. Where they stay uh, until they join the larger group, and with me is uh, Mr. Liu Liu Xiansheng. Hello. Ah, hello. So you can see um, this calf here will stay in this hut. Uh, in here for how long? You are saying little calf, right? Yes. In here, two months. So uh, the cow is here for two months, and the first aim is. For the calf to be in this hut, so that it, it's away from any kind of infections, and it drinks enough water and milk, and then after that, the main aim with these calves is to is for them to give babies, to have more calves, um, and only after that point will they start producing milk. People here do this to build their relationship with the the young cows.、Um, he's really enjoying himself. Look at that. There's some、uh, saliva, cow saliva on there.、Um, yeah, they do that to build the relationship between cow and man, and also to lead them to drink water. Come, come, come. Oh, he doesn't want to do it anymore. I think. Oh, okay.、Uh, he's quite cute, actually. Okay, he's a little scared. So I'm standing here right next to what apparently is the biggest industrial milking machine in China. At one time, there are 100 cows all being milked. You can see them being herded from their cow shed. They walk onto the platform and slowly rotate. And you can see there's only two people in the whole of this factory space. Their job is basically to walk round and check that the cows' udders are connected with tubes to the milking machine. And the cows, they stand there and they carry on chewing.、Um, I've got with me a, a bottle of yogurt that is produced、um, by cows. In this、uh, dairy farm, from this dairy farm, I'm going to have a try.、Um, let's see. So,、mm. I love yogurt. This is very, very nice. I have to say, an awful lot of work has gone into producing this product. As you've seen, the cows really give their entire lives to produce. Milk and yogurt for our own benefit. As I was saying before, the young calves—they are nurtured so that they make babies. There's no male cows anywhere. They are literally、um, inseminated. If that's the right word. They produce their baby, and then they're separated from their baby, and they start producing milk. So really, you know,、um, the next time you have a yogurt, the next time you. Drink some milk. Just remember the sacrifice that our cow friends give to producing, you know, what essentially is,、uh, you know, a luxury product for us, but albeit a very good one. Hama. So now we are at the milk processing plant where all the milk is made, and I'm here with Echo. Hi, 
Hi, I'm Echo. Hello, Echo. You, you work here, right? Yes. Yeah. And, and over here, we've got all the products that are made in this factory. Yes. Um, show me, which one is your favorite? This is my favorite product. I drink it every day. What is it? Uh, this is a uh, yogurt uh, and there's um, some fruit in it, in it. Yeah, it's a peach yes. flavor. I'm really interested in this one over here. So this one is passion fruit and cheese yogurt. Now, I'm not from China. I'm from the UK and this is quite bizarre for us. Um, have you tried this one? No. <laughs> Maybe let's have a try later. And um, we're going to take a walk um, because over here we can actually see the factory, right? Um, yes. We can see the machines making the milk. Yeah. And what's the name of this company? Ely. Ely. So this factory sends milk to Ely, the, the big dairy company, right? Yeah. Yes. It's the biggest uh, dairy uh, company in China. Wow, okay. So we're just approaching the factory. Here on your left you can see it. This is our first Right, this was the first line in Ningxia. Uh, yes. So in one day, how much milk will they produce? For um, 200 tons one day. In one day, 200 tons yes. of milk and yogurt. Um, what about in one year, how much? Um, 1.3 million tons. 1.3 million tons of milk and yogurt, wow. That is a lot, right? In this particular lab we produce um, 48,000 48, uh, uh, products um, per hour. 48,000 bottles, bottles per yeah. hour, yeah. Yes, yes. Yeah, okay. And that's an awful lot of milk and yogurt. And the amazing thing is, it's all done by machines. You can't see one person in there. So that's quite incredible, I think. And in the past, back in the 1970s, when China wasn't a very rich country, people very rarely drank milk. But now, as you can see, um, milk consumption has grown massively. Um, you know, in one hour, 48,000 bottles, people are drinking a lot more milk here in China. And it's really, it's become a symbol of the development of this country and the wealth of the Chinese people. Everybody's drinking more milk and it means people are richer, but it also means people are healthier too.